You know what I mean? I'm just gonna be scrolling down. Yep, I gotta add this one. I gotta add this one. I stole your bitch. Yep, I gotta add that one in there. You would just not have any of these songs. Like, you just wouldn't. What you gonna shake your ass to? I mean, shake your ass, watch yourself. But, I mean... <laughs> Bad news. Hey guys, before we get into today's video, I just wanted to give you guys a quick heads up that there is new merch available and you guys can find those links down in the description section. Also, consider subscribing to my Patreon. It helps me make bigger and better videos way more often for you guys. So please check that out. What's poppin' fam? It's your boy Jay Sama and today we have a very interesting video and I only say interesting because it's covering some conspiracy shit. Alright, so uh, welcome back to Canon Culture, the show where we uh, basically do some entertainment commentary and just, uh, I don't know, I just teach you guys some lessons on some shit that I just happened to learn and I want you guys to know ahead of t ahead of time in case you haven't made the mistake or have made the mistake. I don't know. I, I just I just be dropping knowledge all the time. I don't know what's going to come out of my mouth sometimes. I just make it up literally as I sit in this damn chair. So, today we're talking about well, this is the equivalent of the what color dress do you see? Uh, phenomenon that happened a few years ago. Uh, it was either a white and gold or a uh, black and blue. And to be honest with you, the only thing I ever saw was a waste of time. Honestly, that's all I ever saw was a waste of goddamn time. So today, um, we're uh, checking out this situation. Do you hear? Uh, do you hear Yanny or do you hear Laurel? So it originally started with this girl making a post. I think it was either on her Instagram or her Twitter. Why it blew up, I have no idea. The relevance relevancy of it is just phenomenal to me, and it's just why. Like, just people just don't have anything better to do or to just occupy their time. I guess. I do want to let y'all know that scientifically this has been debunked already. It is actually both words layered on top of each other, one with a higher pitch and one with a more apparent lower pitch, so that way you can hear both. And also, it depends on if you're listening to speakers or headphones, and it actually speaks to the quality of those said headphones or speakers. And also, it's the way your ears are built. So really, uh, audio is a perception type of thing, like, you know, everything's subjective. So if you happen to see a clip on TV or something and it has subtitles or captions and you're listening and you're with a friend and you hear one thing and you ask him hey did they say such and such this word and they go no I heard this and it's something completely different than what you heard and then when you go back and listen to it a second time you hear what they heard and it's like mm, sometimes those influences exist in the world okay just want to let you guys know that there is no wrong answer okay it's already been debunked by audio engineers all over the place I've, I've read three articles on it because i literally googled for about five and a half seconds and i found the answer okay so it's not it's not that wild of a thing so just want to let y'all know it's not really a thing that we need to argue about anymore and also don't let this distract you from the fact that post malone sounds exactly like justin b when it's sped up. Here's the clip. So this clip is actually brought to us by uh, Claudio Rivera. Okay. I hear it a little bit. I mean, yeah, I, I get it. I can hear it. Hey. Wait, what? Yo! Now that's Justin Bieber, fam! So if you guys want to check out the full video to that and uh, Claudio's channel, I'll leave a link down to that down in the description. That's the real conspiracy, okay? I just want to let y'all know this entire time that Justin Bieber and Post Malone have been plotting against the music industry and just taking over everything. It makes so much sense now. It absolutely does. Kind of the bulk of what I wanted to talk about today. And I came across this story because I thought it was very interesting and I wanted to give my two cents on it. Nobody asked for my two cents, but I'm donating it anyway because some of y'all need need the assistance out here, okay? So, uh, apparently this women's right group uh, has petitioned for Spotify to take off Eminem, Chris Brown, uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers, and various other uh, artists from the Spotify playlist. Now, I say Spotify playlist, and I say the wording that I say specifically because the headlines are floating around that they want them removed from the platform completely. So I would like to remind people that 
XXX Tentacion and uh, whoever, whoever, and R. Kelly were not removed from the platform. Okay, I repeat, they were not removed from Spotify. They are still there. They're just not put in the auto-generated playlist. So what Spotify does is they have these um, user-generated and uh, automated curated playlists that are put together based upon your preferences and the things that you listen to on Spotify. So I have like 52 playlists that I incorporate, that I've built, that I've made from the various um, moods that I have or the playlist that I, you know, when I go to the gym, I wanna listen to certain songs and things like that. Or when I feel like I'm in a 90s R&B type of mood, okay? So then it curates these playlists for me and what do you know, there's absolutely no R. Kelly in it. This is a problem. Um, I personally, set mine uh, up a certain way to where if I wanted R. Kelly in there, I have him in there. But for them to just completely remove him out of there, okay, I get it, I get it. I'm not defending R. Kelly or any of his actions because that man is a pedophile and, and honestly very disgusting. He calls himself the Pied Piper of R&B. The Pied Piper is a story of, of a man who played a, a magical flute, who had children follow him down the streets who were never seen again. Children, okay, who calls themselves purposely for over 20 years, the Pied Piper of R&B. That is pedophilia, fam, pedophilia. But we're not into getting, talk we're not talking about that today. There's been speculation going around and a lot of people getting really upset about this that Chris Brown also needs to be removed. And I'm just gonna let y'all know right now, I don't think that's the way to go. I don't think that's the move to make because Chris Brown is in a lot of songs. Like they're not just hitting you know, the songs that are by him specifically, they would hit the songs that he's with on related like artists and related playlists. That would eliminate a lot of artists. All your favorite Ty Dolla Sign, Shake Your Booty, Shake Your Booty in the Club videos. Like you would just not have any of these songs. Like you just wouldn't. What you gonna shake your ass to? I mean, shake your ass, watch yourself. But I mean, <laughs> you know, I just think it's really an odd situation. And one of my friends actually, I'm not gonna name her name, because I have since unfollowed her, I'm unfucking with her on Instagram because for her to have this energy, even though she used to be a hoe, uh, like a literal hoe, like like in high school, she was sucking dicks in hallways type shit. Like, like ditching class to have a train run on her in the boys' bathroom type of hoe. So, you know what? And um, I'm not saying I partook, but I'm not saying I ignored said activities. <laughs> but really, I'm not gonna name no names, but she was talking about how this is the devil's music and this is just devil worshiper music and Chris Brown should not be uh, listened to on this platform, completely take him out. I like Chris Brown, but I can't stand him as a person. Bitch, you don't even know this man. And then she was talking about all the scandals that he's in and she named one with Rihanna and Chris Brown. Now, I can understand if you wanted to bring up this another one and say, you know, this this woman who was at his house and it was allegedly raped. I say allegedly because he did not rape her. The raping, said raping took place in his home. That's like if I invited a bunch of homies over, right? And there was like girls and we everybody was chilling or whatever. And I say, hey, you know what? I trust you guys. I'm gonna head into this other room. You know, I'm gonna like work on a video or something. I mean, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and a girl gets raped. Is that my fault that it was in my domicile? I don't know where that lies in the in like the legalities of it, but I'm pretty sure I did not participate in said rape, so I don't think that should be something that he's held accountable for. Whoever the motherfucker is that raped this chick, why do we not know who the fuck he is, okay? And no, this is not like the earlier situation at the beginning of this episode where I actually did some research more than five seconds because I really just had a tyrant that I, a, a, a rant, a tirade, a rant if you will, to just go on and I, I just really wanted to make the point that I don't think more artists need to be included in this, although it doesn't affect their overall revenue, I would have to say, because they're still performing live, they're still doing other things for stuff like Apple Music and Tidal and, you know, so this is really not, you know, affecting them too much, but it's affecting the consumers. And I, that's what I think people are not understanding is that this affects the consumers more than it affects the artists. Like the artists could give two shits about 24 cents per play in a curated Spotify playlist. Because most of the time when you're an artist who has already been out for a while and you're an artist who has had multiple hits, okay, you've had Grammys, you've had awards, much like Chris Brown. Okay, we're gonna keep using him as, as an example. Um, it don't matter if you're in an auto-generated playlist. 
I still fuck with Chris Brown's music, so therefore, I'm gonna put him in my playlist. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna be scrolling down. Yep, I gotta add this one. I gotta add this one. I stole your bitch. Yep, I gotta add that one in there. These are songs that still need to get put in some of these playlists that I have. So, rather the computer generates it, or rather I generate it, it's still getting put in there. That's just a drop in the ocean of revenue for these people. So, if I can't thoroughly enjoy some of my favorite music because an artist does some things or they do some outlandish shit and some people some other consumers out there would like to punish them for that i mean that's that's number one unfair to me and also i'm sure a lot of these women are fucking apple apple music users okay y'all real fucked up for this shit really 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 fucking up this shit you know what matter of fact don't let this distract you from the fact that apple music is still not out beating spotify playlists like like apple music does not generate the type of shit that spotify generates okay let's not let's not get it twisted spotify is still making the most fire playlist out there because when you go to the auto generated playlist on apple music you'll be having all sorts of random shit up in your fucking playlist i have several friends who use apple music who swear by it but they're just like yo these playlists these are just not they're not rockers but every time they get in the car with me i have the banging playlist fam i always got the banging playlist so i would like to say thank you spotify and not only that spotify is also a company that believes and i've noticed this firsthand like directly spotify is a company that interacts with a lot of its users and fan base and stuff so if you send in feedback you get emails back if you tweet them and tweet their support if you need some help with something or even if you want a discount on something uh, they are usually more than willing to oblige they they respond to you and that's great i've never seen apple do any of that i don't think apple is capable of doing that they're such a huge billion dollar con conglomerate i don't think they have the time to designate one person to respond to twitter comments or instagram comments or facebook comments actually spotify is so dope i suggested one time i was like hey do you think we could get a karaoke mode for some of these songs where it's just lyrics instead of like the genius info bar and if you're not a spotify user i understand you won't get this you're not on the wave but when you're using spotify it actually has an ability to flip the uh album art over and you can see little trivia facts or you can see lyrics and stuff and i suggested on twitter hey is this something that we could possibly get in the future as a karaoke mode and sure enough i got a response and a dm back of course, Jay, this is something that we're already currently working on, but thank you for the suggestion. The fact that these motherfuckers are thinking of innovation so far ahead that I thought of this great idea of being able to sing some of my favorite songs while staying on the Spotify playlist and not having to Google the lyrics to play karaoke with my friends, it's just, come on now, come on now. Spotify, you guys are on it. You guys are fucking on it. So, but that's just the way I feel about the about the situation personally. I want to turn this this situation over to you guys. What do you guys think? Is this fair that Spotify does this? Is this fair that these women are calling for the removal of Chris Brown and the Red Hot Chili Peppers and Eminem and all these other artists who essentially have had no huge scandals compared to XXX Tentacion who beat up his girlfriend on video and compared to R. Kelly who peed on a 13-year-old girl? And so we usually have this portion of the show where I give, I present all of these issues and all of these things, but I also want to provide solutions and a game plan, okay? I want to give some advice and stuff like that. So number one, we're going to start with this. If there's any, any, anybody that you do not support or that you do not want to give attention to or you don't think should succeed or you just don't like that the way this person operates, the number one way to really make them fail, don't talk about them do not talk about them because the second you fucking do that you're giving this person energy and you're giving whatever it is that you wanted to ignore you're giving it traction by talking about it so the best way to really stick it to some of these artists or really stick it to somebody that you don't want them to succeed don't support them by supporting them with your with your babble okay the more you talk about something the more something becomes bigger and then other people talk about it and next thing you know donald trump is elected president okay wait a minute that was too far that was too far that was too far we don't get into politics but that's essentially what happened you guys know this um so really if you don't want Spotify to continue using Chris Brown or Eminem or any of these other, you know, artists, you know, Buck Cherry or who's one of my favorite bands, by the way, or, uh, you know, Solange is also a good one. You know, you got to keep the same consistent energy because Solange be talking about whooping niggas asses in the street all the time. So <laughs> I just want y'all to keep the same consistent energy. Uh, the best way 
to really, really stick it to somebody is, is success is the best revenge is something that's that's always been said or ignoring somebody. Because if you ignore all of that shit, it's just outside your bubble. It doesn't exist. Okay, the more, once again, the more you talk about something, the more traction it gets and you create a snowball effect that turns into an avalanche. Okay, so that's just something I want to let you guys know. And another thing is also in that regard, not only do you not support the things that you don't like, Go out of your way to support the things that you do like. If you have a friend that's that's a musical artist or a musician or a rapper or wants to be a photographer, wants to be a cinematographer, and you really want to support this person and you don't want to support somebody else, help that person out. Show up to their shows. Show up to their to their gigs. You know, uh, donate to their Patreon. Donate to my Patreon. You know, like support these people the way that industry should be supporting independent artists and things like that. Like one of my friends, Andre. I went to high school with this guy. He was one of my favorite, absolute favorite hip hop artists in the game. And I say hip hop because he's not just rap because some of the music that he makes transcends that. So I'm gonna include a link to his SoundCloud. I'm actually playing one of his songs right now. If you guys dig this song, please go and check him out. He, he goes by Gray's LA. He's probably one of the dopest artists out. Like he he's a homie of mine. Please go and support him. Anything he needs, hit that play button. Please give my man some plays. All right. We trying to get we trying to make the homies big out here. Okay. This is what I'm saying. Big ups to the homies. So you have to support your homies. And even if you don't necessarily like what they're doing, try and help them out the best way that you can that doesn't violate your kind of like core beliefs of like, hey, I like this thing. I like that you're doing this thing. I just don't like the thing that you're doing. If that makes any sense. I like that you're doing it, but I don't like the content. Or like if somebody's talking about, you know, they are singing songs about fucking bitches and getting money and that's not something that you you dabble in. All right, just tell them, hey, I, I support that you're putting your music out there. I support that you're doing this, that, and the third. But um, I don't really care for the message very much, Nicole Arbor. I don't care for the message. Or if you do care for the message, but you don't care for the distribution of it or you don't care for something else, Nicole Arbor, is the fact that hey i think the message is dope i think you could have did this a different way i think you could have collaborated with somebody who who would have done better i mean you know there's just plenty of ways that you could have you know gone about this but let me know what you guys think down in the comment section this has been your boy just jay sama make sure to leave a like on this video subscribe to the channel if you are new and make sure to keep it camp i'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs>